New at five, the longest servicing exonerated man in U.S. history. That's what attorneys for Glenn Simmons are saying. After a judge formally dismissed his case, he spent 48 years in prison. Simmons was accused of murdering a woman and wounding another at a liquor store in Edmond. Two News Oklahoma's Alexandra Blake met Simmons today and tells us what he wants the world to know. The liquor store robbery was in 1974. Two women were shot. The clerk died and the other one survived. Simmons' attorney says the woman who lived testified that Simmons was the one she picked out in a lineup. His attorney says no other form of evidence against Simmons was presented to the jury, and he wasn't even in Oklahoma the day of that murder. Wrong person in the wrong place at that time, and they needed a young black guy to, you know, you got to know the atmosphere of 1975 and what's really happening and, uh, and it was a case that they couldn't solve and I was their pick. Just 22 years old when convicted of first degree murder, he was once even on death row. Now at 70 years old, Glenn Simmons says he is more than just an exonerated man, but an innocent one. He'd been serving time for nearly 20 years when he says his spouse passed away and left him some life insurance money. He used it to hire a private investigator who Simmons attorney says got the city of Edmond to turn over police reports that were withheld. She told the police who did it back then. Unfortunately, somehow she ends up in court saying it was Glenn that she picked out in the lineup when it wasn't. Had those reports been revealed, been revealed, no doubt the verdict would have been different. In a recent court hearing, District Judge Amy Palumbo said the state failing to disclose the reports denied Simmons a fair trial and vacated his conviction. Simmons' current private investigator says wrongful conviction is a huge issue in Oklahoma. Simmons says they haven't heard anything yet from Governor Stitt or any state leaders. Nobody still haven't said he is actually innocent. I'll say it. He's innocent. He's innocent. That's right. Simmons and his attorneys say the road to compensation is a long one and not guaranteed. As for the short term, they say Simmons doesn't have income to navigate the free world. His would-be working years were spent behind bars and he's battling liver cancer. They say he's been relying on donations just to get by. Alexander Blake, 2 News, Oklahoma. If you would like to donate to Simmons, we have a link to his GoFundMe at KJRH.com.